Hello guys, I just finished watching Moana 2 and I found out 10 significant questions that have been left unanswered throughout the movie. If you have seen chapter 1 of this movie, you are probably familiar with this cute little guy in the tattoo of Maui. But the question is, exactly how was it created? Are we never going to get a flashback of this? Chapter 1 and 2, both movies never revealed anything about the creation of this guy. Moana had a hallucination of what's gonna happen in the future even when she was completely awake. And after that, she decided to go after monster Nalo to break his cars. She also had the same kind of hallucination inside the Tamatau monster even though she was pretty much awake. So my question is, who was causing all of these negative hallucinations inside the mind of Moana? What energy was working behind this? Is there any way they also have a goddess of illusion or something? In chapter 1 you can get to see the grandma of Moana turning into a stingray after her death and she also had the tattoo of a stingray on her back when she was alive. In chapter 2, Tau Taivasa was shown to be the last great wayfinder who was alive almost 1000 years ago and he was able to reincarnate as a whale after his death. But if you take a look at his back, you can notice that there was no tattoo of a whale or any other creature. So how does someone turn into a spirit animal after his death? Is that thing related with the tattoo or is it not? You see the tattoo on the left hand of Moana's mother? Moana also got a similar kind of tattoo on her left hand by the goddess of ocean as an honor of her achievement. And that makes me wonder, did the mother of Moana also get this tattoo from the ocean? Or it was just a normal tattoo? I don't feel like her mother is capable of something like that. Moni was shown to be very interested in Moana but their love angle was never explored. Is there any way she will finally start to date Moni in the future and they will have kids together? Or is there any way this dude is gay? Because I have seen him thirsting over Maui a lot of times throughout the movie. So it's not gonna be a surprise if he turns out to be gay because it's Disney we are talking about. This bat lady Matangi reveals that she has been trapped inside this place for like a thousand years after being manipulated by monster Nalo. And guess what? Maui also went rogue almost 1000 years ago. And that makes me wonder, is there any way Maui was also responsible for the misfortune of Matangi? On the other hand, after the curse of Nalo was broken, there was not even a single scene where Matangi was shown again. So what happened to this lady in the end? Did she get freedom at last or she is still stuck inside the Tamatau monster. And by the way, did she have any kind of romantic relationship with Maui in the past? My gut feeling is actually telling me something like that. This tattoo on the chest of Maui is depicting one of the major events in his life. And if you zoom in, you can notice Maui fighting against a monster. And guess what? In chapter 1, you can notice the same tattoo even before he stole the heart of Tafiti. And that means this monster is neither the goddess of life nor the lava monster Tekka. It also doesn't look like the thunder monster Nalo. So the question is, who is that monster he was fighting with? Are we never gonna get a backstory on this? In chapter 1, when Maui restored the heart of Tafiti, he got a new tattoo on his chest as a proof of his achievement but in chapter 2, he didn't receive a single tattoo on his body. So what can be the reason behind that? Why Moana was the only person to get a tattoo but not Maui? This dude was a very interesting character in this movie and I guess you know this guy if you have already seen the movie. But I have a question, does this guy have a family or he is basically the only creator of his own kind? There is another question from chapter 1 of the movie which was never answered even in chapter 2. It's not a very significant question but I'm still gonna talk about it right now. Why did Maui break the leg of the crab monster? What was the reason behind that? If you guys feel like I've missed on something, you can let me know in the comments section.